Hey everybody, welcome back to the first rivet here. This is uh, some of the construction we've got going on here for the right wing. Um, just getting a lot of the parts prepared and uh, skin lined up. Uh, needed to do some dimpling here on that before I get it too far along. And we've got that extra piece that goes in between the, the front and rear spar there, uh, just kind of a support beam there. And get some dimpling going on. If you look at the, the wing spar there, I've got a couple of pieces of blue tape that are on the side there. Initially, what I was planning on doing, um, I'm missing the torque tube assembly for both the left and right wings, and those go through the ribs uh, towards the wing root. And I can't uh, attach the skins until I get that torque tube assembly. My plan initially was to attach the skin to the bottom side and then when I got the torque tube assembly, I just insert it from the top side. Problem is, is that the, the bottom skin fits around one of the uh, pivot points for the, uh, probably be the flaps. And uh, because of that, I can't slide the, the, the ribs around. And that's the part that I'm missing right there. And you can kind of follow the dotted line there, the ribs that it goes through. So I attached what I could and uh, moved that over to uh, storage for the time being. Uh, I, I tested to uh, make sure that all the, the rivets fit into the, the holes, cleared off the bench, and brought over the other piece. Um, give a little bit more detail here on the video that's in the upper quarters of the screen there. Laid some tape down in between the, the joints to prevent the, uh, the shards of the, the chamfers that I'm drilling out from falling into there because they are kind of small. Um, but this is what I'm working on here. You got to count in. Uh, there's the two different sides have different spacing on the the openings or the holes, and uh, basically I marked them off by ten. So ten, ten, and ten. And the other one's ten, 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 and then an eleven because it's eleven holes, and it's just really no sense of doing uh, a, a, just one by itself. So I marked it off, uh, counting from the the ten holes or or mount points, and then. That way it just made it easy to quickly identify, okay, here's 10, and here's another 10, and then here's another 10. Um, and after the, you get to the, the, the end of that, then that's when you start using the, um, the chamfer bit to go through and um, basically route out the holes so that they can accept the, the, um, the rivet that's got the bevel to it, and that creates a flush rivet on the bottom or under or actually it's on both sides of the wing. So um, the next step after that is uh, what I'm doing there in the main video, where you take the drill bit, and the, the drill bit here that I'm showing you, um, has depth gauge to it so that you get a perfect uh, depth each time, and it just provides it so it makes it really super consistent. And as I'm going along, I'll grab a, a rivet that's going into those holes and then just testing it to make sure that it's set exactly right so that I get consistency from hole to hole. Um, one of the videos, the instructional videos uh, that Evan put together at the, the, the airplane factory advised to uh, you know make sure that these are consistent because otherwise you get kind of a wave as you start pulling the rivets through each one of the holes. Um, <clears throat> I've got the uh, the wood on the bench there just kind of uh, holding. I, dr I just drilled it down to the bench to hold the that spar into place to keep it from wobbling around while I was working on this. <clears throat> um, it probably takes a couple of hours. You get kind of, you really get really tired after a while. Anyway, so when you get started, uh, there's kind of a technique to this where you want to get the, the holes as smooth as possible. And what I was doing was starting the, the drill up at kind of at a slight angle and then easing it into the hole. And I would almost get a perfect hole every time like that one I'm pointing out there. Um, takes a little bit of practice to get there, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's you just get perfect hole after perfect hole. If you don't get it right, the, the bit kind of wobbles around in there a little bit and doesn't get a perfect hole in it. I haven't figured out a way to kind of clean that up after a while. And that I'm just checking the depth there to make sure that the, the the chamfer is deep enough so that the 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 beveled uh, rivet fits perfectly in the hole. So that's the um, and it took me a better part of an afternoon to just get that part done. Um, 
but because we did everything in parallel where we we prepped all of the parts for both the left and right wings at the same time uh, that's just me going through and vacuuming up all the the metal shards that are all over the place um, but anyway so since since we went through and did both wings at the same time most of the parts were already prepped for just go ahead and attach it and rivet them together once you get the wings on the jig here and uh, initially I put the wing uh, on the jig on the wrong side so I had to go back through and kind of fix that up but um, I'm following the same suit as far as the doing both in parallel both the left and right uh, for the the fuel tank portion of the wings and um, it'll go it just goes together pretty quick after that so uh, I had a couple of uh, leading edge pieces that I hadn't prepped and that's just me getting it together there um, it's pretty simple I just take the plastic off clean up the any burrs that might be on it and then uh, clean it with the simple green and once it's together then uh, Lori was back this day so she was able to help me do the the, the dimpling on the pieces of skin um, we just moved the wing out into the alley there and set it aside and then just two of us worked through and got it all dimpled, peeled the plastic off or the, the protective color cover, cleaned it off and got it all ready to go. And then we just basically did the same thing. The one thing I didn't do here was I didn't put all the rivets in the holes because uh, I'm going to have to actually uh, kind of work at getting the rivets out of the underside of the skin in order to get the, the ribs moved when I do get the torque tube in from the airplane factory. So, um, but I just, you know, I used enough rivets to be able to put it in place. Uh, working on a, uh, a little jig so that I can stack the wings like this. Uh, it's actually my neighbor's garage that uh, they're letting me have some space. And uh, the last thing I did prior to this was get the fuel tank jigs all ready to go. Uh, I managed to only buy two, two by, I'm using two by threes for the base instead of, I think, I think it's just slightly less than that, but it's just basically the platform that's holding the, the jig stand up. So it's, it's not, it doesn't have to be super, super precise, but I only managed to buy a couple, a couple of those and I needed, um, needed to buy four and I did run out of some of the protective coating. So, um, this is just a, <clears throat> to cap the video off, this is so it allowed me to run over a little bit on the commentary. Uh, I took a video of our dog out in the front yard. Um, she just checking out the squirrel and that's where I'll leave you. So um, until I get the next video done, uh, I've got a week off coming up here in a couple of days and uh, my antici I'm antici anticipating getting the fuel tanks done during that period of time. Uh, once the fuel tanks are done, then uh, I'll get the flaps and the ailerons going and um, hopefully we get the, the torque tubes in. I'd, I'd really like to get all of the control surfaces together and buttoned up before I start working on the fuselage. Uh, the goal at this time is to be complete with the uh, control surfaces, the wings, the and the empennage uh, all before the end of the year. Uh, recording this on October 12th and um, if I can hit that goal then uh, the next phase of things is getting uh, instrumentation ordered I'll be using Midwest uh, for their uh, skills getting that all together I've got a quote that I'm working on with them at this time and um, get the engine ordered we we've kind of settled on a color and um, so we need to get the interior going and also get the engine going Anyway, thanks, and we'll see you soon.